new version. It looks like a bug yeah. trapped under a glass. I googled that bug. It's some sort of demonic cricket that takes chunks out of your skin when provoked. Chunks is the word that Google used. Cool. I like it. Definitely more focused in terms of what the characters are doing, where they're looking. I do like that Uber. you added that full turnaround. And I think it's okay since he has the most tension here. I think it's okay for her. And I like that pose too with this here. It's great. It looks like a... Just careful. What I would say is that upwards move, they're really in sync. She goes up, he goes up here. It looks... I think I would just go it. after it. Right when she's done. This is for me. No, that's the full screen here. And there you go. Frame 42. That's when I would initiate this. But it's, you know, it's not much. What is this? Two, two frames earlier. So maybe 41. Looks. Yeah. Just a bit earlier. Just a smidgen. It. It looks like. Yeah. He does have the reaction in his eyes, but it's this that I'm trying to uncouple. Them going up at the same time. Looks like a bug yeah. trapped in. This I don't mind. That overlap here. Bug yeah. Trapped under a glass. And I do like so how she gets up and then over. So the my, I have two notes in terms of I mean this this was already a note, but the, the two biggest things that that so three I would say not that this is huge, but I would still uncouple this. The bigger one to me is this here. When she starts turning, yes, he has a dart up, but there's no adjustment. To me, at this point, he is looking up and past her. I mean, like here, I buy it somewhere around the ear. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to draw, but anyway. And then now he's kind of spaced out. And by now, she took a ginormous step to the left, and he just A, too high and too far to the side here is better it's a bit too low though too high it's in between Pull that bug. It's some sort of this is not uh, i don't know too high to me a demonic cricket that takes chunks not looking at her skin when provoked now he looks back at her this is probably the one i buy the most in terms of eyeline chunks and then this one's good too this is the word that google used now suddenly slightly higher i know it's it's, it's very subtle but you have a bit of a change there where suddenly it goes up. But it works better the second half, I guess, huh? The first, not so much. So to me, the biggest one here is just that that turn, he would look down, dart around, because he is really focused on everything she's saying and does, right? You can see all the little reactions there. On something this big, to me, he would, he could even take a tiny step forward, but definitely readjust his eye line and focus. Maybe not the step four because he does it already here, but it's 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 to me it's almost like she's turning. Now she's more receptive to what I'm going to say. I want to go a little bit closer, but maybe just like a, a, a lean forward that then goes into the bigger lean. It's almost like eh, you know, like a double. Under a glass. I googled it. Yeah, instead of one big one, you could do like a tiny, like maybe this much, but not high, but to the left, and she goes forward. So imagine he's starting to lean, and like in your in your rotation, it wouldn't be like right now. It feels like you have a lean. And then you, you could do a something like that. You lean, slight pause, not flat, but slight pause around it in the curve and a I forward. That bug. It's some sort of demonic cricket that takes chunks out of it. That takes chunks. Mm, slightly. I like the asymmetry, but then at this point, we're suddenly, to me, too mirrored. Even though we're low here and there's an asymmetry here, just the action suddenly feels. A cricket that takes chunks. I don't know, it feels a to twin and also the chunks part because of this here it's to me it's more like a dipping <laughs> it's almost like oh man this is such an old reference like palm leaf used to be uh i don't even know how you pronounce that correctly it's when i used to hear it as a kid in switzerland but like you would be like green dish soap or something and there was a commercial day that you put your fingers in your fingertips and it would be good for your fingers i don't know <laughs> that's what this reminds me of it's so weird chunks. and not as in like a chunk grabbing or being pulled or something i'm not quite connecting that gesture which is of course very subjective but that's my my kind of worry there chunks out of your skin when provoked chunks is this one is the other big one so for me it's a turnaround and his focus chunks and this one is the up and down on the head chunks is the 
it's a bit too bouncy. This feels to me suddenly over animated. Chunks is and I think I mentioned that before, but it's it's something where the action is so big in terms of eyes closed, the tension here, going forward, this big move. And then you listen to the voice. Chunks. It's just not quite there. I feel like chunks is the energy visually, and chunks is how he says it. To me, there's so much movement that I I, I would hear more strain and energy change in the voice. Again, picky, but that's just something I'm just usually picky about. Provoked. Chunks. So to me, it's almost like you can do it instead of skin when provoked. Chunks. Instead of this far forward, it could be maybe only this far. And instead of up like this with the hand, it could be like a side swipe. It's just kind of minimizing, keeping the idea, but just minimizing the, the energy of it. Chunks is the word that Google used. <laughs> Chunks is the word that Google used. And don't do it. Just throwing out an idea because it's always like this is a crappy idea or maybe could be or a version of it could be better. But I'm wondering what if chunks chunks is like this is the word that Google and then is the word that Google used on that thing. You relax the fingers and you close up those three and you point and close this and it's almost like is is what Google use. It's like a little pointy gesture. It's like, uh, I wouldn't say it's a sub pose. It's kind of, it's a, it's a deviation of this here, but it's almost like, oh, I'm already in this pose. I might as well the word that Google used. now get into a less aggressive pose and more into like an explainy pose with like, oh, like a little point. You're like, oh, that's something, little, by the way, that's something that Google said. That could be interesting. So you're not stuck in that at the end. Again, subjective. But wanted to throw that out there. Maybe you like it, maybe not. Maybe that gives you another idea for something else. Um, but that's kind of that. And again, I really like how you tweaked it into her. Because <laughs> that's, again, a pose where, like, I don't really believe in any of this. And whatever. And I'm just going to take a step back because you're weird. But but I like this. This is a really neat pose. And it reads really well from, like, a tricky profile back view. So that's really cool. All right. Now that's that. Thanks. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.